the start of the day, guys. When the radio turns on a good tune, the minute you get in the car, you know you're in for a good run. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Trip to that thrift Thursday morning. I want to get this tune back on in one second. So I'll make this short, sharp, and punchy, and we'll dive into the first thrift. Uh, I sell on eBay, sell on Facebook Marketplace. If you want to learn a thing or two, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like. I'm going to four off shops today. I'm going to show you what it goes on to sell for. And fingers crossed, I can actually find some cool stuff to bring you. This video is no good if I don't bring you some really cool items. So fingers crossed, I can do that today. Uh, like I said, I want to get this tune back on. I want to grab a coffee and I'll see you in the thrift in about 20 minutes, which I don't know why I'm telling you time because you'll probably see it in about two seconds. So we'll see you in there. Music guys, op shop number one is all wrapped up and I could actually make this quick little uh, clip a very, very fast process because I've paid $4 for every single item and I believe they'll all go on to sell for $29.99 free postage. So let me run you through them. The first one that I've got here is this Flamingo Brazilian Football League. Uh, this, this team is based out of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Now I had to do some research into this one. It's a genuine Adidas size large jersey. I'm going to push about 35 bucks, hope for some international postage on this one. Um, really Really cool jersey, Flamengo out of the Brazilian Football League, Rio de Janeiro. Pretty cool. Um, so really essential, um, you know, Adidas plain black, uh, just tracksuit type shorts. Um, comfy shorts, size large, may even keep them for myself. They're in that good a condition. $4 into $30, like all of the items that I've got here. Two times you exercise shorts as well, guys. These are a size medium. They are basically never worn. Such good condition. I might go $34.95 and push the boundaries on that one. Um, found a very a very fake Derek Rose jersey in here. This is a size medium. Uh, BCC is the tag, and that can tell you right now that that is a fake. Whenever you see BCC, that is not genuine. So I'm still going to go for about 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace with that one. This one was a 2008 Kangaroos Rugby League World Cup jersey. Uh, training singlet. So it's not a jersey, it's just a training singlet, but it's got the 2008 on the back. I think a true collector might like that one. Um, and then we're, oh, now guys, you'll always see these in the thrift. $29.99 free post on eBay. I'm selling them in very, very fast space of time. Um, this is the Brisbane Broncos footy shorts. You see these all the time. Just pick these ones up. Even the AFL footy shorts, they do still sell and you're going to get about 20 bucks on them on uh, on eBay with postage on top. Um, and now I found some, uh, some test shirts. So some Cricket Australia, genuine Cricket Australia test shirts. So that was a really cool one there. I found the one day with the Alinta Energy. So Alinta Energy, if you do see this in a cricket shirt, it's one of the more recent years, Alinta Energy coming on as a sponsor only in the last couple. So that was a very cool, more modern uh, Cricket Australia jersey. And then the last one that I've got here in the shirts is the Gold Coast Titans training top. So very, very cool. Again, 30 bucks on there. Now I found a very old school Russell Athletic Brisbane Lions beanie as well. Now I'm selling beanies for about 30 bucks as well. So that'll go for $29.99, especially coming into winter in a fast space of time. One more item, just as I was leaving, guys. V8 Supercars 2 on the PC. This one, if you can find it, it goes for $35. The old school PC games, they do still sell. I paid a dollar into $35. Happy days. So guys, there we go. A lot of clothing items, a lot of sporting-based bread and butter items, which is right up my alley. You guys know that that's what I like to thrift, and I've been able to find it in the first run. So very, very happy about that, guys. $45 spent. Let's go and spend another $45 in the next one.
Right, Righto guys, op shop run number two all wrapped up and uh, we've done pretty well here. A lot of books and a lot of DVDs. I'll take you through them now. Uh, the book series was John Flanagan. Now I've sold a bit of John Flanagan before, so I know he goes on to sell. There was comps on eBay for this series for $65. I've been able to find books number one through to six there uh, of Brother Band, the book series by John Flanagan. So really happy to find these. This is how I sell my books. I buy bundles like this and I sell them for a collective price you know, over $50 generally. Um, so this one for $65 will be a good one. I've paid just a dollar each for those books. Just an unbelievable result. Um, the DVDs really came through for me as well. Who's watched The Magic School Bus? Um, well, I found a few DVDs here. Magic School Bus, I've got four. And I will say, first of all, brand new sealed. You're always going to make a few more dollars. There it is there. The Magic School Bus, four DVDs, brand new sealed. Now, I've also found 13 um, episodes uh, or, or series, I guess, of Scooby-Doo. Now, there uh, we've got four. I think we've actually got five um, brand new Scooby-Doo DVDs there as well. So these go for about $10 to $15 a piece. Whenever they're brand new, you're always going to get one or two more dollars. Uh, but here's another stack of them here as well. So all up, 13 Scooby-Doo DVDs and uh, obviously four in the um, Magic School Bus. Um Smackdown versus Raw as well in the PlayStation 2 games. I generally find when it comes to games, I'm selling for really good money the PlayStation 2 games. I don't know why. The Xbox games, not so much. Uh, PlayStation 1 is okay. PSP, not really. PS3, no. So uh, let me know in the comments, do you go well with the PlayStation 2 games? Because I certainly seem to. Um, so that's everything, guys. A game, a heap of DVDs. We've got 17 DVDs there. And uh, I will say, actually, the DVDs, I paid $2 a piece for those. Um, but I do think even at... Even at $10 to $15 a piece, bundling it as a whole, I think collectively with the Scooby-Doo DVDs, that's worth about $120 to $150. So at, even at $2 a piece, paying about $30, bucks, I still think the resale value is definitely going to be there. And then the John Flanagan books for $60. -odd. So all in all, guys, we've pushed basically $200 in this second run. It's been a pretty good one. And uh, I've spent collectively about $40. So not too bad. Let's move on. Op shop number three. My guys, what have we got here? Wahoo indeed. Let's go and buy the store. Now guys, I've spent a good 30 minutes having a look through the aisles here and I've been able to come away with six absolute beauties. We're gonna kick things off over here on the left with this long sleeve men's Wrangler shirt. Now this is a size large, I've paid just $4 for it. You can't be saying no to that. YSL, I rarely see this brand, but it's such a good one to get. I've paid again, $4, blue check, and this is a size 44. Hey, threshold as well. Haven't seen this one, just purely like the front print on it. Brand new with tags for two dollars i'll take it this was probably the best that i found the nike air hoodie this is just a plain black front print it's a size medium i've paid 12.50 i'm going to try and turn that into 40. hey lebron james cleveland cavaliers number 23 for two dollars if you're finding anything lebron james for two bucks you're going to be making yourself some money happy to bring that one home and then i've also found this mitchell and ness uh, t-shirt as well this is a size medium mitchell and ness is a really great brand and anything with the lakers on it you're going to make some money as well so i'm really happy to find that for two bucks Six of the very best out of the thrift. Now, I've gone behind the curtains here, guys. I probably shouldn't be back here, but uh, there were some DVDs that really caught my eye. So here I am just diving through and having a bit of a look. And uh, I've been able to find some really cool DVDs. Sonic X, there were actually four of these. Three of them were brand new sealed. So I've had a look on eBay at these guys, and they are worth about $20 each. So a great little come up on the DVDs. I also saw this uh, Astro Boy as well. Unfortunately, it didn't comp for much, even though it was brand new sealed. So in the end, I had to let that one go. But four Sonic X, definitely the best of the bunch. The other one as well was The Office. Special edition box set, goes for about 35 on eBay. I've paid just $2. So guys, all in all here, I've been able to spend myself $32.50 and it's gonna go on to sell for a hell of a lot. So far, so good. Let's get on to the next. Can you believe that we're on the last op shop of the day and I'm yet to buy any pairs of shoes? I just realized that. I'm gonna make shoes a priority in this op shop. Fingers crossed. I've never had a trip to the thrift without these shoes.
All right, guys, so I've made it back home and I did manage to find a pair of shoes. There was never going to be a trip to the thrift without a pair of shoes. So the first one that I found here are the Mizunos. These are the Wave Rider GTX. They are a very, very nice pair of shoes. So if I was only ever going to get one pair today, I'm very happy that it was these. Uh, $7 was to spend. I think they were US 9. Uh, yeah, they are. And I believe they're also a women's. Um, I will need to do some triple checking, but some Mizuno women's running shoes uh, for $7. What an absolute get. And then just as I was leaving, there wasn't a lot in there. It has been a relatively quiet day today. Um, I did see the Nintendo Wii in the bookshelf or the, or the casing, I should say. Now, I really do think that you guys should be paying attention to what's behind the counter when you're at the till because there could be some really great items. And I ended up seeing this full Nintendo Wii set and I've paid $50 for it, but it's got the lot. We're talking the steering wheels, we've got the instructions, the sensor bar, there's some nunchucks in there. I've got two awesome games, Mario Kart for the Nintendo Wii, and I've also got Sonic, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, which I think is worth about $15, $40 I think for Mario Kart. So the games alone are worth 50 bucks. And I've got the console right there as well. So I think everything in the bag is probably worth about 150 bucks, give or take. I've got to do some heavy research into it. But for a $50 purchase, and it is all working fine, there's some tags on it to say that it's working fine, we might have just ended the day with a real win there. So potentially $100 profit. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, give or take, I'll do some research into it. But I, I, like, I do think that the games are gonna get my money back and then I'll be able to get some profit on the rest. So that was really good. Um, so just the two items there, guys. Uh, I spent uh, I spent $57, seven for the shoes, 50 for the Wii. Um, but not too bad of a finish up there because it really does round out what has been now a, a pretty successful day of thrifting. So really do hope you've enjoyed it. I'll try and whack some of these items up onto the website as well www.thehouseofmumba.com.au it is my new website and thank you very much for all of you guys that are supporting that website purchasing a couple of items it really does mean the world to me thank you very much they are always a little bit cheaper than my ebay store uh, i'm going to get home get listing as i always do guys i always love making these videos and if you are still here watching this video right now i truly can't thank you enough for all the support so thanks very much we'll see you in the next video